friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Sunday, it's Sunday so it is part two of my Q&A. There was a renowning response that you would love a part two where I finish answering all of the questions that were asked in my Facebook group. And with today's video, we're doing a hair tutorial. I have my curling wand warming up right now and I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. This is another question I get asked all the time. And again, a renowning yes to a hair tutorial. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload fun videos every Sunday and five every single week. I am going to list all of the hair products that I use down below for you. I'll share them with you throughout the video as well. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. And that's actually where all of today's questions were asked is over in my Facebook group. So let's do my hair and let's answer all of your questions. So before we jump into the Q&A in the hair tutorial, I thought what better time than this video to do an outfit of the day. I actually just got home from running some errands and my entire outfit today is from Timu. You guys know, you already know how much I love Timu. I place an order at least once a month, sometimes more than once a month from Timu for affordable, high quality clothing. And like I said, my entire outfit is from Timu. So I wanna share it with you guys before we start the hair tutorial. So first let's talk about this cute little top that I have underneath my little jacket here. It has this fun, cool shoulder design with this lace etching. So comfortable, so soft, buttery soft. The lace cold shoulder shirt, it is in a size large in the color black and it is only $6.69. Sense. I love the length of this. It's perfect to wear with leggings, to wear with jeans. It's easily layerable under jackets. Speaking of jackets, the one that I have on top, this is really fun. This is a long duster style jacket. This is the women's outerwear loose cow pattern print patchwork open front jacket. It is $17.49 and I got mine in a size large. I love the length of this. It is, like I said, a duster style. Super cute with leggings. I'm pairing it with some jeans, which we'll talk about next. But this is a lightweight, comfortable, kind of fun patterned piece to pair with more solids. So the jeans that I have on are also from Timu. And I always talk about how much I love their jeans. Their jeans are such great quality and super, super affordable. These are the high waist stretch skinny jeans, double button tight fit. They are $13.49. I got mine in a size extra large, which is too big for me. As you can see in the try on portion, I have a lot of extra room. And I don't know if it's me and my height, but these are are pretty short on me. They are definitely more Capri style for me, which is fine. I live in a warm climate, so it's perfect. I don't know if it's just because I'm on the taller side. I am 5'8", that these end up being Capri style for me. And if you were shorter, they would probably be the perfect ankle length, but they are very, very comfortable. I definitely should have sized down to a large, but hot water wash, hot dry should help shrink these just a little bit. Even my shoes are from Timu and these shoes, let me tell you how comfortable these are. I wore them when I ran my errands and they are so incredibly comfortable and adorable. These are the women's casual flat loafers slip on shoes. They are, I got mine in a size 10. They're a little bit big on me, should have sized down, but they're only $5.39. Where else can you find cute loafer style shoes with this fun leopard print for $5.39? They are so incredibly comfortable and really, really good quality. My earrings, I also picked up at Timu. Their jewelry, you can't beat it. These are so adorable. These are the crystal dangle earrings with a red inlaid bead in antique metal pattern. These are $1.49, $1.49. And they had a lot of different color options. I can't believe how weighted and high quality these are for $1.49. I mean, it just blows my mind. All the prices on Timu are 
outrageously affordable, but the jewelry, the jewelry is in a league of its own. And the last thing, since we're doing a hair tutorial that I wanted to share with you are these scrunchies. These are such nice quality and look at all of the scrunchies that you get. You're going to get 12 satin scrunchies, lots of color choices. I went with the more earthy. I wear silk or satin scrunchies in my hair every night for bed. I also wear these a lot of times when I go to boot camp or to the gym. This entire 12 pack of silky satin scrunchies is $2.69. $2.69 for 12 scrunchies. And like I said, they're really, really nice quality. And I have a lot of hair and these definitely hold my hair in place. So I'm really happy I bought these. I may actually order a second set in some different colors. I will go ahead and link everything in my little OOTD or outfit of the day for you, as well as the scrunchies down below with this special discount for new customers. So if you're a new customer, you can get an extra 30% off your order. And the prices are so affordable, taking an extra 30% off is mind blowing. I love Timu. I have truly, honestly loved everything I purchased from them. There's been nothing that the quality wasn't there, the price wasn't exceptional, and they're pieces that I wear every day. I would say I wear something from Timu almost every single day. And today's outfit is a full, a full Timu outfit. So again, I'll link everything I shared with you down below. So now let's answer some questions and start fixing my hair for the day. So I live on dry shampoo. I actually only wash my hair once a week. My hair is very dry. So once a week washing is about what's recommended. So I live on, like I said, I live on dry shampoo. I'm not particular on the dry shampoo. I just don't want one that's going to leave a white cast. So right now I'm using the Chi Luxury Black Seed Oil Dry Shampoo, and I actually really, really like this one. It will sometimes leave a white cast, but I can run my fingers through my hair and the white cast goes away. And then my favorite heat protector actually comes from Milkshake. This one's almost gone. This is the Thermo Protector. I always, always use a heat protecting spray before I apply any heat to my hair. Like I said, I have a lot of hair. I have very dry hair. So I have to curl my hair in segments. So I usually run my fingers through to disperse the dry shampoo and the heat protector. And then I'm going to pull up a good amount of my hair and then I just plop it on top of my head with a claw clip. Now my curling rod that I'm using is from the brand Foxy Bay. I really, really like this curling rod. This does not have a clip, so it's actually one that you have to hold the hair on, but I really, really like it. It's It gives me the perfect curls, and I feel like it doesn't do a lot of damage to my hair either. So I just start with small segments of my hair. I'm gonna show you how I do it, and then I'll answer the questions as I go through and curl all of my hair. But I'm going to take my wand and I point it down and then I wrap my hair and then I just twist it. So it's almost touching my scalp. So I get that curl all the way through my hair. You can see that I leave about an inch and a half to two inches out at the bottom that I hold and that's going to give the curl but then also leave the end straight which is that more beachy vibe. So the first question is do you have all of your snacks pre-planned for each day or do you have several options available that you choose from depending on what sounds good at the time? So I definitely don't have my snacks planned. I will tell you I always have lots of snacks on hand though because I am a big snacker. I eat about every two to three hours so I like to have a variety of snacks on hand but I also like to listen to my body and whatever sounds good at the time that's what I generally will have as my snack for the day I make sure that all of my snacks have balanced macros so there's some protein there's some fat and there's some carbs the next question is I am interested in having my, having my macros done but I feel like it's so hard to eat those numbers for me. How can I start out simple, especially if I don't like vegetables? I like very few veggies. I can't stick with WW and I keep getting on track and it's mentally messing with me. So the great thing about macros is it's not an exact science. So if you want to do macros and you want to start with baby steps, which is actually what I recommend, I would definitely start focusing solely on calories 
and protein. So when I do your macros and I give you your calories for the day, obviously you want to focus on that number. And then I would at least hit that minimum protein goal that I give you. I give you two goals, one high, one low. You want to focus on that low number and just kind of let your carbs and fats be where they fall. As long as you're hitting your protein goal, it's impossible to overeat your carbs and fats because you just don't have enough calories. So focus on calories and protein. And when you get that to where it's second nature for you, then we can start figuring into those other macros. That's why I always recommend a coaching session along with macros and calories so that you can ask your questions and we can kind of get you set up for success. I took my jacket off because it's just too much to curl my hair with that jacket on. So the next question is how often do you update your macros? So macro recalculation. When you lose 15 to 20 pounds, you can actually go up to about 20 to 25 pounds if you have a lot of weight to lose. But I recommend between like the 15 and 20 pound mark or if you drastically increase or decrease your exercise because you're going to need more calories if you're adding in exercise and you're going to need less if you're decreasing your exercise. I read that too much protein can be dangerous. Also, I read that your body can absorb only 30 grams at a time. Okay, so first of all, too much protein is not dangerous unless you have an underlying health condition. And if you do have an underlying health condition, then I would discuss your protein needs with your physician. And as far as 30 grams of protein, that's not accurate. There's so many different things out there in regards to how much protein your body can absorb. It's not going to do anything with the protein if you eat more than 30 to 40 grams per meal. I always tell my clients 35 to 40 grams is about how much protein you should consume per meal or snack. It's also best to space your protein out throughout the day to keep you full and satisfied. Skincare products or foundation faves. I don't wear a lot of makeup but need some basics. So if you're interested in what makeup I wear, check out my first Q&A because I did a full face of makeup with you. I'll link that video down below. And I also have a beauty channel and I always link all of my makeup in the description box of the videos. So I'll make sure that I link my beauty channel for you as well. Do friends and family or the public treat you different now that you're thinner? Yes. And it actually kind of pisses me off because I am treated very, very differently now that I've lost the weight. Everything from shopping for clothing, men, men especially, never paid one bit of attention to me before and now I definitely get more attention from men, which doesn't matter because I'm married, obviously, but I find it interesting. And another thing that's interesting is my friendships. A lot of those friendships have changed a lot since I lost weight. So I have some friends that are overweight and I feel like our friendship just isn't where it was when I was overweight as well. Maybe because we just don't relate to the same things anymore. I mean, our lifestyles are very different. I'm at a healthy weight, I'm active. And so a lot of those friendships have changed and not for the better, which is really, really unfortunate. But that's to be expected when you go through any type of weight loss or health journey. And what you do every day is different than your friends. Sometimes those friendships can suffer. Do you have any travel tips on moving to another state or moving advice specifically to Arizona. I'm planning to move to Arizona with my three dogs. You are going to love it here. Arizona is absolutely amazing. Like I always say, best decision Tori and I ever made was to pack up and move here. My biggest, biggest suggestion for you when you're moving to another state, Arizona or any state, is do your research. Figure out where the best neighborhoods are that are in your price range for, for housing. Also search for what's nearby. The first house that we put an offer on in Arizona was like 30 minutes from anything. And I'm so glad that we ended up not purchasing that house because where we live now is walking distance to things. And we just didn't do our research and realize at that point that everything was so far away. So I highly recommend doing massive, massive research and make sure that not only the residential neighborhood, but the surrounding areas where you want to be and plan for a stressful trip, especially if you're driving and hauling dogs. We also had three dogs with us when we moved here and it took us three days of driving. So Plan ahead, bring snacks, and plan for it to be a bit on the stressful side. Can you please talk about how you've healed your relationship with food? Yes, in a video. I am actually planning on doing a whole video on 
steps I've taken to heal my relationship with food, my relationship with food right now is the best, absolute best that it has ever been. So stay tuned for that video. Once I curl all my hair, I like to let it sit for about five minutes or so to let it cool before I finish styling it. That's going to set those curls in place. Has Arizona helped Troy's medical issues and pain? Yes and no. So he definitely feels better in a warmer climate, but he still has all of his same ailments and pain. The climate isn't really going to help that a lot other than the fact that the warm helps with any type of arthritis and he can definitely move around a little bit more outside in the warmer weather. But like me, he is so grateful we moved here best decision we ever made. And the last question is, when will you be hosting a spring weight loss challenge? I want in. So the spring challenge started April 1st. It's still not, it's not too late to join. I'll link the information down below for you. You pay for the challenge and then you get to join an exclusive Facebook group. And we have two Zoom calls every month. We have weekly challenges with giveaways. Fantastic for accountability. We have a specific challenge that we focus on every month as well. It is so much fun and it's such a great added community to my already existing Facebook group. So I'll put all of that information down below for you. The dogs are playing. So once my hair is cooled, I just take my fingers run it through and kind of break up those curls and you can see that it gives me this really pretty kind of beachy vibe and I like those more beachy curls not the really hard really intense curls I like it to have a little bit more of a beachy vibe one of my go-to's if you have dry hair frizzy hair is the Sutra hair serum this stuff is amazing I do two little pumps and then I run my fingers through my hair and look at it. it takes all the frizz out and adds this amazing amazing shine I also like to put it kind of towards my roots where it can get a little bit frizzy and you can get some of those flyaways and then last I add a tiny bit of hairspray I'm not a big hairspray user so I just do a little bit this is my favorite this is from the brand bedhead and this is the masterpiece hairspray it is a very very strong hairspray so a little bit goes a long, long way. I like to focus mainly on the roots and then a little bit to hold my curls throughout the day. So that's it, really, really simple. The curling wand, about a one inch to one and a quarter inch is perfect for the beachy waves. And these curls will hold in my hair for two to three days. Now, if I get really sweaty at boot camp, I lose my curls a little bit more. But for the most part, I can get two to three days or longer out of the curls. So again, I'll link everything down below for you that I use to style my hair. And again, thank you to everybody who submitted a question. I'll definitely do some more Q and A's in the future because I get a lot of the same questions DM to me or in my Facebook group. So I'll definitely continue with these Q&A videos. I will link part one where I did my makeup so that you can check that out as well. I actually linked all of my makeup down below. So if you're interested in what makeup and skincare I use, it's linked in the description box of that video. So if you enjoyed this Q&A, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not because I upload five videos every single week. Check out that description box for all the hair goodies that I use, as well as the makeup tutorial Q&A, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for asking questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.